Hi everyone, welcome to Terraform interview questions. This is our first video. I'll cover seven questions in this video and I'll make further videos for remaining interview questions. First question is, what is state file in Terraform? In Terraform, state file keeps track of resources created by your configuration and maps that with real world resources. For example here we are creating a VPC and uh, when I create this VPC by running terraform apply command this information is stored in a state file and that will have a mapping to the real world resources let's have a look and meanwhile right now this is a brand new project and there is no any state file in this uh, folder Terraform apply command reads the configuration and accordingly creates resources. Now notice a file got created terraform.tf state open that. So it has many details and check resources section and see the type as per our configuration we want to create a VPC and resource type is VPC and if you see the other information it is having the mapping to the real world object this vpc is present in aws account now try to compare this vpc id with vpc id present in state file and see that so that is what state file is and by default state file is created in the local question number two where do you store your state file we usually store state file in remote locations uh, typically we store them in s3 bucket so why we store a state file in remote location so that multiple terraform developers can point to a same state file and work on same stack rather creating multiple stacks for multiple developers so remote uh, state file is configured as follows. We need to define Terraform block inside that backend. Uh, type of backend is S3. Bucket. Region. Let's use US East 1. and uh, the key the state file name we can give any file name but uh, it is uh, recommended to give a standard file names like terraform.tf state let's go ahead and create a bucket to store this state file go to s3 and uh, create bucket I call this uh, Java home cloud uh, IAC state yeah, I want that to be in uh, US East 1 and create this bucket in Terraform configuration provide the bucket name region and the key right now the state file is present in local we need to run terraform init command so that the local state file gets migrated to remote and it says initializing the backend it prompt us saying existing state file found in local do you want to migrate that to remote say yes right now local state file got migrated to s3 now onwards uh, our uh, terraform code uses the state file present in s3 let's open the bucket and you see the file and it has data let's see what happened to local state file 
the file is there but the information is not present because this file is no more used uh, everything got migrated into s3 and the next question is how do you lock a state file and why we need to lock a state file the reason being if two or more terraform developers running terraform apply command at a time this can cause inconsistent state in sense at a time multiple people editing same file can create inconsistent state and it can corrupt the state file to prevent this we need to enable locking to enable locking what we do is uh, in terraform backend configuration use dynamo db table and provide the table name and uh, the table should have lock id as a partition key and the rest is taken care by terraform so what happens after enabling lock only one person is allowed to perform apply at a time and remaining people are kept in the queue until the current process finishes that way we put a lock and we uh, avoid the inconsistent state file situations let's see how to configure that so specify dynamo db table and choose a table name name of your choice so as per convention i am choosing the name state lock let's go ahead into aws console and create dynamo db table and make sure you're giving right partition key it must be exactly lock id l should be in uppercase id also should be in uppercase create table that's it the lock is configured behind the scenes terraform uses dynamodb table to make sure only one person is doing terraform apply at a time to finish this configuration you have to again run terraform init command so take this command and execute and it finishes the a state file log configuration and the next question is what happens if a state file is lost typically we should make sure uh, so that the state file is never lost uh, while storing in s3 you can use uh, locking mechanisms uh, and uh, we also can use uh, uh, replication mechanisms to have a copy in some other location so that at any cost we do not lose this file but in case the file is lost what happens how terraform behaves if a state file is lost right terraform forgets all the resources already created and those resources will not be changed they will still be there in your real world and when you do terraform apply terraform assumes these are all new resources and it tries to create those resources again the next question is if someone makes changes to this vpc manually in the aws account what happens how terraform behaves Terraform always tries to match what you describe in the code meaning whatever you describe in the code that's what should reflect in real world if someone makes changes in real world again still it will try to make changes as per the configuration we did here for example let's say somebody went into aws console and deleted a tag 
like this go to tax manage tax and let's remove a tag in the remote there are two tags but as per our configuration we need to have three tags now if i run apply it will add the tag which is deleted by the user manually let's try that and if you see it's adding department tag which is manually removed by me in the console yeah the next question how do you import manually created resources into terraform let's take an example right now we have vpc and let's say i go and create a subnet in the ui using aws console and this is not created by terraform but the requirement is going forward i want that resource to be managed by terraform how to do this this is done using terraform import command let's see that let's go to subnets create subnet choose java home vpc and let's call this subnet 1 and let me select um, availability zone us east 1a let me give a cider block like this and create this subnet is created manually it's not created by terraform and we can't manage this subnet using terraform right now but if we want this manually created resource to be uh, in the control of terraform what we should do first step define resource in your terraform code resource its subnet give a logical name provide cider block and make sure the details you configure in this resource exactly matches the resource created manually in AWS console. Let's take this one. Paste. Tags. Check here. Name subnet one. And there is one more configuration that's availability zone us east 1a right so step number one is write the code and try to match this code exactly with the resource attributes in aws and next step is run terraform import command so that remote resource details will be updated in the state file terraform import it takes two arguments first argument is your code i mean aws underscore subnet dot subnet one And second argument is the resource ID which is present in AWS. This one, copy, enter. Okay, it is not just subnet, it is subnet one. So import command will fetch details of this subnet and updates this information in the state file. Now this resource got into the control of Terraform. Let's make changes to this resource and see if those changes are reflecting. Let me add location. 
and let me apply and see these changes are reflecting or not yeah there is one uh, exception yeah vpc id we didn't mention about vpc id that's also required this got created under the above vpc vpc id equals yeah dot id see the output it's adding location the next question how do you delete a specific resource in terraform terraform destroy deletes all resources but i don't want to delete all resources i want to delete a specific resource what is the command this command destroys all but i don't want to destroy all i want to destroy only a specific resource use target option this is resource type dot logical name subnet 1 for example i am pointing to this resource and it is going to delete this resource yeah it's deleting a specific resource that's all for this video remaining interview questions i will cover in next video thanks for watching